actually, when we ask the question, did the Holy Spirit set up that script, or did the Holy Spirit set up that situation, or did the ego, um, actually the very belief in situations is, is a belief of the ego. And situations can be taken for granted, you know. And I used to just ask myself, where does the situation begin and where does it end? What, what is the situation? That's why Jesus says in the early part of the workbook, in no, in no situation do you perceive your own best interests. He doesn't say in most, or almost all. He says in no situation do you perceive your own best interests. And the reason that's so is because ultimately it's all quantum and there aren't any situations. You see, it's that deep. It's that deep. So when we ask the Holy Spirit, help me in this situation, we've already assumed we, we've got a situation going on, whatever that is. And it's a false construct, whatever the situation has been. That's why you're never upset for the reason you think. Yeah. Because it's a time problem, you know. It's the idea, all situations are dependent on linear time. Because they're just a little piece of a, of a larger context. And, and time isn't what it seems to be. It's, it's almost like getting lifted up from a whole different point of view, like, oh my God, I never knew, like in what the bleep, when they, down the rabbit hole, when the, the little Pac-Man kind of character, uh, she finally gets lifted up into another dimension, she's, oh my God, I never knew, you know, it's, it's, it's beyond what she was capable of, of perceiving or conceiving of. Which is why we need a complete change of mind. It's not uh, some kind of a partial tweak or shift in linear perception is not going to do it. We think of miracles as somehow on a timeline, but they're actually, they seem to be collapsing time. And then the atonement is described by Jesus as the first miracle, and the last miracle, and all the miracles in between. Wow. That's just all encompassing. That's the atonement. That's the atonement. That's, that's the only difference between the atonement and what we would call a miracle. It's like the ultimate, ultimate of all miracles, which is that the celery stick disappears, or, you know, the whole line disappears. I use that, I don't know, did you ever see my spaghetti talk, or my, my noodle talk? i heard You heard of it, where I take, take a spaghetti, mm -hmm. and then I turn it, mm -hmm. I turn it, like it's long ways, and I turn it to, just so you look at it, and it turns into, yeah, just a dot, a point.